I will put a link in the description below of where I take this head off the uh, engine. It's a 3.5 liter uh, J-Series engine, but I am just assembling uh, the head. I changed out the uh, intake and the exhaust um, valve stem seals. And to do that, I took off the rocker arms, took out the cam, took off the uh, cam gear. So I'm, I'm just basically putting everything back together. So right here, I'm sliding the cam in. Um, if you want, you put some oil on it, slide it in. Uh, there was already residual oil in the head. This head didn't need any um, milling or resurfacing. If you had an overheat situation where you overheated the engine, yeah, I would go ahead and have the uh, head uh, re resurfaced. But this was just a um, bad valve, valve stem seals. So right here is the end cap that goes onto the end of the uh, where the cam slides into. I uh, got some mobile one grease and just coating the O-ring. Always replace this O-ring uh, if you go this far into the job and just put some grease on there. Uh, last thing you want that O-ring to do is to roll over on you. And um, or you could use motor oil. I just had grease handy right there on my workbench, so that's what I'm using. This cap only goes in one way. I'm going to show you that here in a second. It's I don't want to say it's directional. But uh, if you have it 180 degrees out, it won't line up correctly. There's only one way that it, that it will go. So uh, you'll learn pretty quickly uh, if you have it if you have it in the wrong spot. The cam wasn't all the way in, so I had to push the cam in a little bit farther for the for the end cap to go in. And uh, so right here, so that's the correct way to do it. Uh, I'm going to spin it 180 degrees out, line up one of them, and then you can see I'm pointing to the top the top hole and it's not lined up so you gotta you gotta have it just in the right spot that's pretty cool that's a pretty cool feature just so you don't get it wrong Honda thought of everything they also have that on some of their distributors um, a, a lot of their distributors I should say where you can't uh, you can't install it wrong so just tightening those down uh, those are 12 millimeter bolts I'll put uh, specs for the uh, for the intake and the exhaust cams. Uh, those are springs. That only goes in one way. Well, you actually put it in backwards, but the, uh, the little steel plate actually faces upwards. Those are used for uh, uh, VTEC. Um, those springs are used when the VTEC kicks in. Just felt the VTEC kick in, yo. So I'm putting in the uh, intake rocker arms. All the rocker, all the uh, uh, valve guides were loose. I should say the valve adjustments. I loosened those all up. Uh, all you need is a 10 millimeter uh, wrench and a, a screwdriver, flat headed screwdriver to get those loose. But those are all loose. It's just a matter of getting them to fit in correctly and line up with the cam. Uh, the rod that I'm holding there, so I'm showing you, there are uh, guide pins. So there are holes in the rod right there. And those holes line up with guide pins on the head right there where my left hand is at on both sides. So you can only put it in one way. Obviously the, uh, the rollers go onto the cam and the, uh, the, um, the other side goes onto the valves. If you guys want to see where I do the uh, the uh, valve stem seals, I'll put a link in the description of that. I'll actually just put a bunch of links down in the description to a lot of the J-Series videos that I've done. I have a lot of them on my channel. I've done a lot of videos on Honda and Acura V6s. I love this engine. This engine is bulletproof if you take care of it. If you do your timing belt on time, if you take care of your oil, and you take care of your coolant, you'll have no problem. So here I'm just speeding up the... Um, the bolts that I'm putting in, like I said, I'll put the uh, torque specs in the description below. Just tighten them down with my uh, 12 millimeter wrench. Got the last one there. Okay, now I'm putting on the exhaust side. This this side was a little bit more tricky uh, due to the fact that it has springs in between each arm um, to combat this. Uh, you'll he see here. You'll see me. Uh, you'll see here in a second what I do. I actually get some uh, zip ties and I zip tie uh, the arms. The rocker arms are divided by springs that are on the rod. 
and to keep the uh, to keep the, the the arms together, I just got zip ties and and forced them together, so it makes it a little bit easier for me to seat them down correctly. Because just like on the intake side, the exhaust side has uh, pins as well, or like guide guide pins that only allows it to go in one way. So that's what I'm doing right here. So you can see I'm just taking a, you know, simple, uh, why can't I think of the name right there? Simple zip tie. <laughs> just taking a simple zip tie and just uh, compressing the spring so that the rocker arm's a little bit closer together. So when I go to slide it in, it makes it that much easier. I put it at an angle so that uh, it compresses correctly uh, and it won't slip off. And then once you get the, once you get the, um, arms back into place and on the head you can go ahead and uh, after it's screwed in or bolted down you can go ahead and you just take care of take a pair of dykes or wire cutters and um, cut the zip ties loose no big deal I'm cutting that one on the far left off because I had compressed it a little bit too much and it wasn't allowing me it wasn't allowing me to seat uh, the rocker arms correctly so I left the other two the other two were perfect I just compressed a little bit too much, and you'll see when you get in there, it makes a little bit more sense. Um, but it was, it was, the rocker arms were too close together for it to seat correctly. So once it once it goes into place, you'll you'll notice it. Everything seats nice, all nice and beautiful. Go ahead and install the bolts on the exhaust side. The bolts actually have an EX and an IN on them, so you know the intake and the ex and the exhaust bolts. They are different. So just make note of what it says on the head. You'll see EX and IN. I'll put a picture of that up right now. And uh, torque specs are down below. So I'm just making sure all the rocker arms are good. So here next, I'm gonna put on the cam gear. Uh, this, so there, well, there's a backing plate. You have a two 10 millimeter or 12 millimeter bolts that hold that in. And uh, the cam gear, the cam shaft has a little notch. I'll show you here in a second. And that notch correlates to a notch on the uh, sprocket and the timing belt goes around that sprocket. So I'm pointing that notch out and it only lines up one, one way. So you can't get it wrong, but I just want to show you guys that, that on the end of the camshaft, there's a notch and on the sprocket or the cam gear is a keyway and uh, it only lines up one way. So right here, I'm showing you the 12 millimeter bolt that holds the plate on and, uh, when it comes time to tighten up the bolt for the, uh, right there, there's the bolt. When it comes time to tighten up the bolt for the uh, cam gear, I'm going to put a socket on the 12 millimeter bolt, and then that's going to hold the cam gear in place while I tighten up um, the bolt, the big bolt, which is 17 millimeter. So right here, you'll see I have a half inch 17 millimeter. I have my socket with my 12 millimeter or 12 millimeter socket with my uh, 3 8 ratchet and I have my gun and I'm just going to zip it on there real quick make sure it's tight it popped off because I hit it with such force it just popped the, the socket and the, and the ratchet off so right here I'm just spinning it by hand making sure everything works the interesting thing is that all the uh, all the valves are loose on this and it's still it still had a place in it where it actually touched and wanted to jump around uh, so you, before you install the head, uh, always make sure you have the uh, cam gear in the number one position um, on both heads before you install them on the vehicle. So hope this has helped you out. That's my new dog, Coco. We just got her. Really cool lab. And uh, if you can, subscribe to Bundy's Garage.